Zenuity, make it real. <laughs> Created by the employees, which means that I can really say that we stand behind those values. And what is that then? For us, make it real is very much about making the vision that you heard about before, making that real and be part of doing that together with the OEMs, together with the vehicle manufacturers, together with the partners. And it also makes a statement because there are quite a few startups doing software for autonomous driving, throwing tons of sensor on it, getting it out, running on a certain street. And that is fair, that's okay. Then you prototype, then you get something done and you learn. What we are after is to do this automotive software, industrial, into a vehicle, out as a product. So my name is uh, Dennis Nobelius and I'm uh, leading the new joint venture between Autoliv and Volvo Cars that is called Zenuity. Uh, what we focus on today is very much how the autonomous drive will actually transform the entire city or the infrastructure as we know it and what kind of complex challenges it is to meet up with this new technology and what that will actually put as a demand on us as a company. So we're really much into the, getting the agile way of working, scaling it up, getting the time to market with innovations in place as well. Autonomous driving, we are after solving the highway problem. That's the first task at hand. The task of the urban will take as the next step. But the first step is to solve the autonomous driving on a highway. We believe that that is the biggest customer value for the biggest amount of customers. And we aim to be, which is really daring then, because we put that as one of the values. It's really daring to be the operating system of choice for autonomous driving. So Zenuity was formed officially like three weeks ago, but we're already 303 persons. We are based in uh, Gothenburg, Munich, Linköping and Detroit. So um, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's a combination of cultures from Alto and Volvo cars. And I think that's also where you find the strengths because we bring the, the patents, the IP and the people from Alto and Volvo, uh, which is all about safety. And I also believe that autonomous drive will all be about safety at the end because who would you trust? And then we believe that Volvo and Autoliv holds a good heritage in that area. So within 10 years, what would that be? Yeah, we aim to be the global powerhouse when it comes to autonomous driving. That's a bold statement. But I also think that the 600 plus that we will be uh, within short, will have the, uh, the competence and the, uh, also the numbers to focus on that technology platform to get that in place. And we certainly aim for the speed. We also see that we have then contributed to create the ecosystem that you can share the data, you can actually work together with the maps, with the cloud, these kind of things. I think it's a massive race at the moment. It's a lot of, of effort and energy being put into this field at the moment. And who will succeed, that, that remains to be said. But I believe there will be, you know, kind of two, three maximum uh, operating systems for autonomous driving uh, in the next five to seven years in that region and we are aiming to be one of those.